Hello everyone, uh, today we will be learning uh, change of variables uh, which is the topic of partial differentiation. This topic is based on uh, variable total differentiation that concept we will be using it here again. So let us see what it is. So here given it is uh, if u is a function of x and y. If you remember in total differentiation what we used to do it u is a function of x and y and x and y is a function of t. And then we used to find the differentiation of u with respect to t which was indirectly connected variable. So here uh, very similar to that u is a function of x and y. But x and y are functions of not only one variable it is x and y are again functions of, uh, functions of t and r two more variables. Then we call it as u is a composite function of t and r. If I will draw, draw the diagram over here u is a function of x and y and x is again the function of t and r. Both are functions of t and r. So this is how the rough diagram if you will draw it for understanding. So in that case what we can say that u is a composite function of t r r. Composite it means it is a made up of different variables that is in simple word what we can say. Now uh, here we have written it the same uh, statement we have written it in terms of uh, mathematical expression u is a function of x y and x is function of t and r and y is function of uh, again the t and r variable. Then if you uh, want to find the partial differentiation how we will uh, do it since uh, u is function of x and y always remember that if function is uh, involving more than one variable we always find partial differentiation direct regular differentiation we cannot do with it. Since u is a function of x and y two variables are there we have to find partial differentiation we have to take it as a partial differentiation. So we will be taking del u by del, uh, del u by del t because we are finding u's differentiation with respect to this indirect uh, variable indirectly variables which are indirectly connected with it. So uh, we will take del u by del x. So first of all we will go from u to x since it is a u is function of two variables we will take partial differentiation. So I have taken it del u by del x then from u to t again you will be go going. So since x is a function of t and r it is again the function of more than one variable. So that is why I will be taking del x upon del t. Now plus we will try to go from u say uh, now we will be trying to go to t. So how we will go it here from u to t again say uh, u though variable ka function is so del u by del t del y we wrote it and again from u we are trying to go to t again u though variable pa ka function hai is liye humne del u by del t liya hua hai. Yaha pe d nahi aa raha hai kaha pe bhi kyunki functions do do variable ke hai ek single variable ka koi function nahi hai to har jaga humne uh, uh, if you will see it carefully we have taken it uh, partial differentiation only. Uh, so in uh, if you remember in total differentiation humne ka, kahi jaga pe humne d direct uh, uh, regular differentiation liya tha jab bhi one variable was involved. Lekin yaha par sare functions hume do do variable ke hai more than one variable in short. So we are taking partial differentiation. Now similarly I am trying to uh, differentiate u, uh, u with respect to r. So how I will go it from first u to y from uh, there are two ways either from u to x and x to r and from u to y and y to r there are two different ways. So I will so both the ways uh, both paths we have to write it. So from u to x so this is del u by del x from x to r this is del x by del r then again from u to y which is nothing but del u by del y and from y to r which is nothing but del y by del r, del r. since it is a very uh, functions of more than one variable partial differentiation only will come over there. 
So this is the formulas which are very important. Uh, we shouldn't get confused. I think making a diagram will be more useful and uh, uh, it will be quite easy to write the formula. So a uh, rough diagram you can make it uh, and you can write the formula. So now uh, u is given to us is a function of uh, here u is given. Now this is the question which we will be solving on it. So this is the question u is given uh, in terms of function of x, y and z and what we have to show it x square into del u by del x plus y square into del u by del y plus z square into del u by del z which is equal to 0. So we will start with given function which is u, uh, it is a function of x, y, z. Now here the given function is given in terms of x, y, z. But we are considering for this whole, this for first term we are considering as R and this for whole thing, uh, second term we will be considering as a S. So this we are changing this function from X, Y, Z to R and S variables. So this since we are changing our given function was U was given function in terms of X, Y, Z, those were the variables and we have changed those variables and used R and S variables. That is the reason we call it as a change of variables because we are changing the given variables with something else. So now we new variables we have used it R and S. So we have changed the variables here. So I have written here R is equal to nothing but this first term and S is nothing but the second term over here. So if you look here in the question, what we have to show it del u by del x we need it it is clearly visible, we understand that. Uh, I mean del u by del y bhi nikalna hai, del u by del z bhi nikalna hai. So then uh, we should, uh, we, we have to differentiate this uh, u which is given. Uh, here uh, we have to take it uh, r s value and then we have to differentiate it. So del u by del x we have to find it. So how we will be finding it is here uh, we have to again use the formula like del u by remember this in this formula the formula which we wrote it here we are saying that uh, u is a function of r and s u is a function of r and s but we don't know what is r and s value so we will be just keeping this uh, del u by del r value as it is we will be keeping uh, uh, the this term we will be keeping as it is. We will not do anything with that because we don't know what is r and what is not uh, what is exact x. We don't know that. That's the reason we will be keeping at it as it is. And the only thing what we will be finding is del r by del x and del s by del x. How we will be finding this is the given uh, r value which we found it by using this one. By splitting the denominator, we simplified this and R and S value we got it over here. So by partially differentiating, we will find this. So del R by del X, if you will do it here. So this uh, whole thing, this will be becoming 0 because we are differentiating with respect to X. So and 1 by X ka derivative ho jayega minus 1 by X square. So which I wrote it here. Similarly, De, de, uh, del u by del s. Uh, we will be keeping as it is because we do not know the, those uh, function of uh, what is the s function. So now here we will be finding del s by del x. So this is nothing but the constant we are because we are differentiating with respect to x and 1 by x derivative will be minus 1 by x square. So this is, I, I wrote it here, how the differentiation we got it. Now uh, here, what is the common here, I just some multiplied here and I have taken it, uh, I have done the multiplication over here. Then if you simplified it here, what will happen, minus 1 by x square will be common, uh, which we can uh, get it. So then this uh, del u by del r will be there and this del u by del s also can be there and this x square we can shift it on the left hand side which I did it here. So only this bracket will be left over here. So this is how we can 
get the value of del u by del x. Similarly, what we can do it, we can differentiate this, uh, we have to find del u by del y value, how we are going to find it is the same way, r's value was given as 1 upon x minus 1 by y and s value where 1 by x minus 1 by z. So, this was the given value as we did in the earlier like this value we will be keeping as it is because we do not know uh, values of r and s, uh, we do not know what kind of functions are those. So, we will be keeping them as it is over here. Only what we will be finding is del r by del y here. So, del uh, this will when we are differentiating partially with respect to x uh, sorry y this x will be 0 and 1 by y's derivative will be minus 1 by y square and this minus and this minus will become plus. So, this will be just plus 1 by y square. So, which is here. Similarly, d del s upon del y we will be finding. So, since we are differentiating partially with respect to y, x and z are constant. So, it will be 0, 0, both uh, will be 0. So, I put it over here. So, that way we got it uh, this final equation which we got it here in terms of y square, this y square we uh, shifted on the left hand side. So, this is what I got it. Now, uh, what we can do it is we found here del u by del x, we uh, found del u by del y. Similarly, we can find del u by z, del z also. So, here also we will be using r value 1 by x minus 1 by y and s value as 1 by x minus 1 by z. Okay. Again, this del u by del r and del u by del s, we will be keeping it as it is. Only thing what we will be finding del r by del z with, with respect to z, we are differentiating it. So, since we are differentiating with respect to z, x and y will become constant. We will be, so, it will be 0. So, this is 0. Now, this kept it as it is. Now, del s upon del z, we have to find it. So, x will be constant, this will be 0 and 1 upon z uh, differentiation with respect to partial differentiation with respect to x is minus 1 upon z square, this minus and the one which is here that will be plus. So, this is 1 upon z square. Now, just uh, this z square I have shifted on the left hand side. So, finally, I got this is what I got. I called it equation 4. Now, we got uh, del u by del x, del u by del y and del u by del z as well, which were we found it equation 2 and 3. And this is nothing but the 4 which we have del u by del z value. So, now we need to add them together because that is how uh, we have to show it. So, the corresponding from the equ corresponding equations I have uh, added the left hand side as well as right hand side. From here I have taken this term from equation 2 and th 3 I have taken this first and second term. And if you see at the right hand side also we can same thing we can add it up right hand side we can add it up. So, if you see here these terms we can cancel it out all this plus and minus and we will final answer we will get it as a 0. So, this is how uh, we convert the given variables in some other variables and that is the reason we call it as a change of variables. Here also the writing formula is very important uh, since the given functions are in terms of more than one variables. First of all, while writing the formula, everywhere we have used it here, del uh, partial differentiation we have used it, that you have to note it. Uh, then after that, we just simply did the partial differentiation uh, and substituted the values and we did little simplification to get the final result. This is how we can do the change of variables. Uh, it is a very important concept. Please do, do practice, uh, so I am sure you will be able to solve the more questions on it. Thank you.